In this video, we are going to continue with the quotient rule. You will find this on page 477 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Now in this example, you will see that root, but you do exactly the same. So you're going to rewrite, but it's better to write it out of the root as we always do in differentiation and make it a half. So rewrite the denominator, differentiate the numerator. Rewrite the numerator, differentiate the denominator. And then don't forget that the denominator we square. Okay, so after we did that, we're just going to get negative 2. We rewrite that one. We, the inside, uh, we differentiate the outside, subtract 1, so it's negative a half. Multiply, differentiate the inside. And then basically, we just simplify this, and that 2 will cancel with that 2, so that's just x. There's the root, and there's the function. Okay, but now I just put it back in the root. Now, now due to the fact that the, I'm sitting with two terms and a fraction, so, so I actually want to make this one term, and the only way I can make it one term is by making the denominators the same. So that's why I multiply with the square root x squared minus 3, top and bottom. And then I'm getting this. And now, now I have one term. So I can then take this fraction, which is now one term, and I multiply this top, I mean the numerator, multiply it with the reciprocal of the denominator. And then I'm getting one fraction again. And then I just simplify the top and I can leave it like this. Or I can just take it back to the root. So it's a little bit more complicated, but again, the rule stays the same. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do A and C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. Okay, so in this case, if, if it's not standing a Y, we usually... If we rewrite it, we write it like this. We make a bracket, and then it will be x minus 2, and it will be the root 2x plus 3. Okay, and now I stopped. So, if I'm going to, let's make it dy, dx. So, if I'm going to differentiate, I'm just going to now say, okay, x, okay, first rewrite the denominator, I just want to, sorry, I'm just thinking of the mutation. So x minus 2, okay, that, that is correct, and then this one will be 2x plus 3, and it will be to the power of a whole. Okay. So I think in this mutation, after I rewrite it like this, and this is why I was hesitating, Always look at the example. I'm really concentrating to put it correct in the book. So I can just put equal. Okay. So then this, this I'm going to rewrite the denominator and rewrite it as it stands there. Then I'm going to differentiate the num, and I'm already going to do it. So it's just going to be 1 because the numerator. Subtract. Now rewrite the numerator. And differentiate the denominator. Now just be careful. If I differentiate, it's a, the outside, the chain rule. Then it's 2x plus 3. So if I subtract 1, it's negative a half. And I multiply by differentiating the inside. And that will just be 2. Okay. And don't forget, what do I do then? I square the denominator. Okay, so what do I get? I'm going to get, and I think I'm going to put it back in the root. It's just sometimes easier to work like that. It's just 1. So negative. Uh, this is going to be x minus 2. Now, B, that, that's 2 over 1. So the 2's will cancel. And if I bring that one down, it's going to be 2x plus 3. And it's going to be over... 
Now, if you multiply, it's just going to be the bracket. So half times two is just one. Okay. Now, I just want to move it up a little bit. Now I'm trying to make this numerator one fraction. So what do I do? I put it over one and I multiply with the denominator. I make the denominators the same, the LCM. So it will be 2x plus 3 and I multiply 2x plus 3. So basically I'm ending up with, now look, if you say 2x plus 3 squared, this, this is a half. 2 a half, a half plus half is 1. So it's just going to be 2x plus 3. Um, minus, and I'm going to bring this one in, minus x plus 2. And it's going to be over that root 2x plus 3. I, I'm still busy with the top. Now I put this over 1 and I multiply the reciprocal. Okay, and if I'm doing this, I'm just simplifying this top here. So 2x minus x is just going to be x. And 3 plus 2 is going to be 5. And now, can I just show you here? This is going to be, I'm, I'm showing it on the side. No, I don't, must use another color if I'm doing this. Um, I'm even going to do it here. So it's going to be 2x plus 3. That's a half. If uh, the root multiply two x plus three, so it's going to be one plus a half. So it's going to be two x plus three to one and a half, which is three over two. And if I'm if I'm taking it back to the root, I'm just showing you all here. Then it's going to be two x plus 3, that's the square root, but that is going to be to the power of 3. And this is what I want, wanted to show you here. So it's this one times this one. So it's a half plus 1, which is 3 over 2. And if I'm taking it back, there's my root. It's going to be 2x plus 3, and it's going to be 3. But if somebody is writing it like this, you're also going to be correct. 2x plus 3, but then it's just going to be 3 over 2. That will also be correct. Okay, and that's the final answer. Let's do the next one. Let's just create space. Number C. Okay, I, again, I'm going to do it like this. Do you see the way of writing? I'm, I'm, writing, I'm using this notation. So um, if it's like this, and now it's again that search, and this I, I did, was also putting it in the IS level book, although it's not so much in the syllabus, but I think it's so part of maths, and I didn't see it in one of the curriculums or in syllabi. So I decided to put it in here because you need it. Okay, so basically this is just meaning, that's one of the rules, that it will be like this. So if there's a root, it's meaning it's for the top as well as for the bottom. Numerator as well as denominator. Okay, and, and that, again, if we differentiate, we take it out of the root. So we make it a half out of the root. And we make it all off. Okay, and now we can start. Okay, so if we start, we're going to rewrite the denominator. Always start with the denominator, rewriting it. Then we're going to differentiate the numerator. Now, if we differentiate, it's again this it's the chain rule. So it's a half, first the outside. 4x plus 1, and if I say a half minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1, and I multiply, differentiate the inside, 4. And then I subtract, and I'm going to need space again. 
when I rewrite the numerator, and I differentiate the denominator. So it's again going to be that half, the outside, 3x squared minus 7, and it's going to be again, subtract 1, negative a half, multiply, be careful, do you see, if you differentiate the inside, 3 times 2, it's going to be 6x. And again, you, the denominator, I'm going to square. Okay, now I can simplify. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it back to, uh, let's just see if I'm going to put it back to the roots. I, I prefer to put it back in the roots. See if it's going to work. 3x squared minus 7, okay. Um, 4 divided by 2 is 2, do you see? So it's going to be 2. Okay, but, but the 2, so let's make it like that. So if you simplify this, can you see it's 2? But let's put the 2 in front here. Because this one must move now down because of the negative. So I'm going to say 4x plus 1. I'm putting it back in the root. Okay, minus uh, this one. I'm putting it back in the root. 4x plus 1. And this one is going to be, yes, uh, 6 divided by 2, so it's going to be, oh, let's just write it here. I just want to, okay, because 6x is going to be 3x, put it in front. And this one is coming down, so 3x squared minus 7. That's on top, that's just the numerator. Again, if you say 2 times a half, it's just going to become 1, so it's just going to be 3 x squared minus 7. Okay, then I'm going to again make my denominators. Now this is quite challenging because it's different. Can you see? So my LCM, my LCM will be the two roots. It's 4x plus 1 and 3x squared minus 7. So I'm just writing it in here. This one I'm going to multiply with that. I'll just, I'll just show you. 3 x squared minus 7, and on top and bottom, 3x squared minus 7. My space is not nice. This one I multiply with 4x plus 1 over, that's better if I write it like this. Okay, but you have the idea. You don't even have to write it in, I just, for following the video, it's nice. Okay, so, I think, um, sorry. I'm just going to make use more of straight lines. Okay. So let's just do this. is the long one. This is my numerator now. So what is my denominator? Uh, it's going to be 4x plus 1, 3x squared minus 7. And this is going to be 2, and it's the bracket, 3x squared minus 7. And again, 3x squared minus 7. That's nice if it's like looking like that. Okay, is this a multiply? And then um, I'm going to say there's a subtraction. And it's going to be 3x, 4x plus 1, multiply. 4x plus 1, and it's over that denominator. Okay, so that was just that. And then the denominator was 3x squared minus 7. Oh, such a long sum. Okay, but do you see the nice thing? If you multiply, remember, remember, it's almost like it's a half and a half. And a half plus a half is 1. So it's just going to be 2. The roots will disappear if you can put it like that. So it's 3x squared minus 7 minus 3x and it's going to be 4x plus 1. 
and that is going to be over 4x plus 1, 3x squared minus 7, and multiply, put it over 1, 1 over 3x squared minus 7. Okay, if you multiply this out, you're going to get 6x squared minus 14 minus 12x squared minus 3x. Now, just be careful for this one. This one is again just like I showed you in the previous one. If you take that one out, it's a half. Uh, but you multiply it with that bracket, which is just one. And one and a half, this is one plus a half, it's one and a half, it's three over two. So you're ending up with 4x plus one. If I put that one, it's 3x squared minus seven, and it's three over two, it's one and a half. Just want to put a few equals here so you just see where's the next step okay so this is going to be six minus six minus so it's going to be negative six x squared minus three x minus 14 and this one you can either leave it like that the denominator or you can write it as 4x plus 1, and it's going to be, again, it's a root, so it's going to be 3x squared minus 7, and that will be to the power of 3. Okay, but you can also leave it as that, x, that fraction in the exponent. Okay, and that is your final answer.